sure you want to do this? I, yes. All right, then. <coughs> Please state your name and where you're from. My name is Jeff Daniels. And you're from? Um, the United States of America. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jeff Daniels. D Daniels. All right. Uh, the last time you were here, Mr. Daniels, you sang a song for the I ladies. I did sing again. a song, yes. Would you like to begin the show tonight doing the same thing? Okay. I'm glad I brought my stool. Yeah. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. All right. I'll stay out your way. Thank you. Off you go. Goodbye. <laughs> <clears throat> this is based on a true story. The light turned green, I pulled ahead. You crossed the street and I almost killed you dead. <laughs> Thank God I quickly hit the brakes. I saved your life for heaven's sakes. Though any court of law would say, I was not only right, I had the right of way. You turned my sunshine into rain. When you lost your mind and went insane Cause through my windshield I could tell You must have family in the depths of hell <laughs> Your eyes were wild, your teeth were bare Anatomical references filled the air <laughs> And when you flipped me off You brought a hardness to my world of soft there's nothing I can say or do to make this wrong all right with you. So have a good life, then die. <laughs> I hope it hurts so much it makes you cry. I hope it's torturous and slow. I hope you know you're gonna go. Have a good life, then die. Have a good life, then die. I hope it hurts so much it makes you cry. I hope it's torturous and slow. I hope you know you're gonna go. Have a good life and die. with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Direct TV. Don't just watch TV, Direct TV. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. It is a, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes. It is, it is Friday. It is Friday the 12th of July. Yes! It is the day I look forward to all year. If you know anything oh, about me, you know day. this is the day I look forward to because it is Julius Caesar's birthday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. know. You know, he was first he was a Roman general, then an emperor, then the inventor of the salad. Julius Caesar! Yeah, He's not the only world figure who celebrates a birthday today, though. Richard Simmons is 65 today. Richard Simmons! Happy birthday, Richard! Now, 
Let me just say this. Let me just say this. Julius Caesar and Richard Simmons are very different, of course. <laughs> One was stabbed repeatedly by a circle of men in togas. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, come on, it's, it, you know, it's a joke. I, uh, I don't know. Anyway, look, it's, I, I love Richard Simmons. Who doesn't love Richard Simmons? Only two kinds of people, fuddy duddies and Al-Qaeda. And, and even Al-Qaeda are like, I like sweating with the ordies. <laughs> you know, though, for some reason, middle-aged women love Richard Simmons. They love him. Richard Simmons is so beloved by middle-aged women, they recently made him an honorary cat. <laughs> That's, uh... That's... Dump... <laughs> boy, oh, boy. Well, what's wrong with that? No, that's, that's impressive, man. In what way? It's a high honor. I like Richard Simmons. He's one of these guys, he walks into a room and everybody smiles. At least I do. I see Richard Simmons. He, I, I light up like a schoolgirl at a One Direction concert. <laughs> I'm like, he's there! I light up like, uh, like, uh, Jay Leno at a car show. I'm like, eh, eh, eh. I light up, I light up like... Like, uh, like Lance Armstrong at the steroid shop. Okay. Mm -hmm. I light up like, like Bill Clinton at a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> I really light up. <laughs> Any more lighting up? Like, uh, like, like Mel Gibson at a Nazi rally. <laughs> Come on now, man. I took the hit, man. I yeah, took the hit. Nah, come on now. <laughs> uh, I light up like a Kardashian at a waxing salon, right? That's yeah, enough. Yeah, nah. yeah, yeah. Richard Simmons is one of the all-time great fitness gurus. For one thing, he never got the maid pregnant. Right there, right there. That's right, that's right. Because <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Very unlikely that Richard Simmons would get the maid pregnant. <laughs> Could happen. Could, it's possible. Technically. <laughs> anyway, in the 1980s, uh, it was Richard Simmons and Jane Fonda kick-started the exercise craze with the home videos. You know who else made a home exercise video back then? This is absolutely true. Angela Lansbury. <laughs> I know! She was like, sweating, everyone! Good, good, sweating! Let's get sweating! Um, oh! Oh! That's very accurate. Well, that's just... <laughs> yeah. Feel the burn! Feel the burn! <laughs> she, did, she made a VHS uh, exercise video. It was called Angela Lansbury's Positive Moves. <laughs> Positive Moves? Positive Moves. Things are getting better. We've even got a picture of the cover. You got a picture of the cover? There it is, right there. Wow. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Richard Simmons. You know, sweating to the oldies was unique because it had people in it, not models. Now, personally, if I want to see real people exercise, I go to the gym and I stare at people. <laughs> they call me the stare master. <laughs> I can't believe Richard Simmons is, uh, is 65 today. Now he's officially an oldie, you can sweat too. <laughs> He still looks great, though. He hasn't let himself go at all. Do you got a picture of Richard Simmons? Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! That's not fair. Man spins it so... Let me see a real picture of Richard Simmons. Yep, that's a real one. <laughs> there you are, just a 65-year-old guy wearing a tutu and a pearl necklace. Anyway, I'm glad... <laughs> I'm, I'm glad... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oy, oy, oy. Anyway, look, he's, uh, I'm glad he's wearing the tutu there because usually he wears the little, sh little tiny shorts, you know, the really short shorts. They make Jeff Probe's shorts look like, like pantaloons. They're like, his shorts are so tiny. Sometimes you can see, you know, how do I put it? You, you, can, you can see a bird leaving its nest. You can, you can see an, an acorn descending from a tree. Uh, you can see a gopher poking his head from a hole. <laughs> what I'm saying is that one of his balls falls out. <laughs> That's the bit I wait for. That's what gets me sweating. When's that gonna happen? 
<laughs> Richard Simmons, though, this is why I like him as well. He used to be a big guy himself. So did I. See, that's why I trust him, because I don't trust skinny people telling me how to lose weight. What did you ever do, Gwyneth Paltrow? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> like, here's how you be skinny. Yeah, be you, Gwyneth Paltrow! What the hell, man? Yeah, well, I'm just saying, she's, 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 it's not like Gwyneth Paltrow was ever like, oh, I'm Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> do, do that again. <laughs> oh, I'm Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, that amuses me. <laughs> anyway, now that Richard Simmons is 65, he could retire, but what could he do? Uh, what would he do? What would a guy like Richard Simmons do? Spend time on his sequin farm? Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, he, he has one. He grows sequins, and when they mature, he harvests them. <laughs> Do you remember, it was a few years ago, a man uh, said he was slapped by Richard Simmons at Phoenix Airport, and he actually filed charges. He did. And I'm thinking, what kind of man says he was beat up by Richard Simmons? <laughs> a man who wants money, that's who I... Admitting you get beat up by Richard Simmons is saying that you get beat up by an Olsen twin or something, isn't it? <laughs> Remember that guy that said he got beat up by Jude Law as oh, well? What the hell, man? Yeah, I was like, well, don't go annoying him. Get beat up by Jude Law? What's that going to feel like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got beat up by Richard Simmons. He gave me an Indian bar. <laughs> people just want money for nothing. They want to make a lawsuit out of it. That's what it is, isn't it? People. Yeah. Ah. 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 Do this with your teeth. Ah. Good job. <laughs> Want to take a break? Yeah, I'd like to. <laughs> where you, where you going? Where are you going to go? Hawaii or something? No, I was just going to go to the lounge, have a smoke. That's what got you into the position you're in now. No, man. It was meth that got me into this. Yeah. We'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. That's right, we don't give a crap. Nope. <laughs> hey, if you're watching this, neither do you. Jeff, uh, what time is it? It's tweet mail time, brought to you by Dentures. Soak them if you got them, target demographic. <laughs> Are you saying our target demographic is old? No. <laughs> All right, let me put it another way. Are you saying it? <laughs> What's that, Grandpa? Hey! I'm saying you might be a little old. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you want to do our tweets and emails? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, then. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was gearing up for something big there. All right, okay, then. All right. All right. <laughs> That's it? It wasn't that big. That was awful. <laughs> All right. It was going so well right up to that point. Yeah, yeah. All right, this is from Rebecca in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Now, uh, Rebecca says, Craig, how do you feel about dim sum? Oh, that's the, uh, when they bring out the thing and the, yeah. all the, yeah. oh, wow. Great. Yes. <laughs> this is from Amy in Westport, Connecticut. Oh, Westport, Connecticut. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Dear Craig and Jeff, have either of you ever seriously thought about running for political office? <laughs> <laughs> He's dead and I'm honest. No yeah. chance. <laughs> this is from Paul in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, how come Jeff never tells us anything about his life before his death? Well, Jeff, why, why don't you? Well, I was uh, in vaudeville for a while. Mm -hmm. I ran a sensible uh, shoe shop for a bit. Mm -hmm. 
and then I died. <clears throat> now, you know why? <laughs> he doesn't tell us anything about his life. Yeah. Because it's not very interesting. Yeah, that's, that's the bit, yeah. I'll we'll probably cut that out. Thank you. Uh, dear Craig, is Secretary a loner or does he have horse friends? Uh, do you have horse friends? Who are your friends? <laughs> They're over there and they've got bad legs. <laughs> This is from William in Duluth, Minnesota. Dear, Dear Craig and Jeff, why do they call it the dog days of summer? Well, this is actually quite interesting because uh, the things... Uh, yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> this is from Rolf in Essen, uh, which is in Germany. Oh. oh, well, we'll have to do the old drill where we say uh, if we get a tweet mail from Germany, we have to talk like this. That's correct. And when we talk like this, I am Herman and you are... I'm Klaus. That's correct. <laughs> and we enjoy the work of craft work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fun, fun, fun of their autobahn. We are the robots. Ha ha. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. She's a model and she's looking good. <laughs> Computer love. Do 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 do. Trans Europe Express. <laughs> The game we were playing there is, who knows more Kraftwerk songs? And I won because Jeff went... That's one of their later works, I'm pretty sure. I think that was in Trans Europe Express. It goes, yeah, Trans that's right. Europe Express. Which anyway, way, yeah. yeah. This is from Rolf. And, uh, my tie keeps popping out like some kind of unruly penis. <laughs> What's going on down there? I don't know. It just keeps going, come on, come on. I'm like, no, get down, relax. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you uh, dance under that name, Unruly Penis? <laughs> no, that was the name of the act. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson is now going to do the Unruly Penis. <laughs> You got some music for my tie stroking, the creepy tie stroking? No, 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 that's too creepy. Sex here. <laughs> all right, all right, that's enough. Uh, hello, people who are still left. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, anyway. Rolf and Essen says, uh, "Dear Craig, can you please say Guten Tag to all your fans in Germany?" Danke. Well, it's definitely German. Then. Yeah. He said, oh, yeah. Guten Tag and Danke. Yeah. What was that uh, song that uh, Wayne Newton sang? Danke. Danke Shane. Danke Shane. Didn't Kraftwerk cover that? Yeah, they did. Yeah. <laughs> Danke schön. I can feel your shame. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can feel your shame. No, that's the song, man. I'm uh, telling you. Thank you, Shane. I can feel your shame. And you will never be the same. <laughs> Again. Unruly penis. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Damn. I missed it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like you came towards my face and I went, no. Oh, it reminds nickel. me of something else yeah. that happened. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Danke schön. I can feel your shame. <laughs> <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense. Oh, oh, but it does. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back.
guest tonight is an extremely talented American actor. He's a star. His show, The Newsroom, returns to HBO on Sunday. Take a look at this. <laughs> Jeff Daniels, everybody. Jeff Daniels. See you, pal. You, you, you look great, and I love this song at the beginning of the show. Thank fine. you very much. Fantastic. Was it true, based on a real life thing? True, true. I was in Toronto, wow. and um, whoa, 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 whoa! Easy, easy Canadian. Not a good story. <laughs> Toronto, and I pulled up to a light. It turned green, the international color. For you can go now. Even in Canada. Even in Canada, yep. and then a uh, Canadian walked in front of me. I hit the brakes, saved his life, and he lost his mind. Lost, banging on the. The Ooh, hood, screaming really? in 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 Canadian. Whoa! Just really? <laughs> coming around now, their profanities are sp he's spewing spittle, sp spittle, spittle, spittle <laughs> is coming down, raining down, <laughs> raining down on the. And I turned to my wife. I said, "This would make a really good song." <laughs> What an odd man. I I, am, it, I seems, it seems strange to me that a Canadian would behave in such a it's way. It's the yeah. nicest country in the world. They tend to be on the polite side, I will admit. It's and a uh, big, small town. Maybe of he was from out of town. Maybe he was some kind of angry hobo from elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. Buffalo, maybe something like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's nearby. It it's is cold nearby. in Buffalo. It's very cold in Buffalo. Yeah, I, I was there once. My testicles are still there. Really? <laughs> well, one of them. One of them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other one is... Where's the other one? Having adventures. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you still driving that RV thing around? I do. I drive a recreational vehicle. They're not just for senior citizens. 42-foot <laughs> bus. Well, what, I mean, doesn't it? It's hard to park. It, it uses a lot of gas. Why don't you get some kind of hybrid scooter? Or like a private jet. You know? Whoa, yeah, there you are. Yeah. Now you're talking. Get no, a private jet. Not as much fun. Okay. Um, and you can't park in Walmarts. With a private jet, you can't park in truck stop. I went into a, went into a uh, uh, RV park, and you know, sweet little girl, state park girl. She, we pull up, psh, hit the air brakes, and she Ali. looks at me and she says, "How big's your unit?" <laughs> I said, "I'm proud to say it's 42 feet long." You say it's a little cool, a little shorter in Buffalo when the. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is. <laughs> what do, you, do you get the feeling of freedom and the open road from it? Is that what it is? It's kind of like having a tattoo, but in your mind? A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, you're very Lewis and Clark, yeah. except with a microwave and an HDTV. Yeah, it's a little easier, you know, I'd and, imagine. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, and nobody knows who the hell I am. Nobody. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. No, they do. Yeah, they do. They, they're just being polite. Are they're they? like, yeah, they're like, Jeff Daniels is over there. He's mad. He's the guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's nuts. He thinks we don't know who he is. Yeah. One girl said, how big's your unit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no it's, I really, I really, in, I, I enjoy it. I do, we bring the dogs, uh, Kathleen, my what wife. What kind of dogs you got? I have Australian Shepherds. Yeah, two little Australian. I, we have a two-year-old, uh, not even that. He's six months old. Is, it, is that like a German Shepherd or an Australian Shepherd? Australian Shepherd, they chase sheep or something in Australia. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but what kind of size are they? Big, small? Well, you know, he's going to be this. How big's your dog unit? Yeah, my yeah. dog unit is, is about that. And, yeah, he's, he, he, we, we were, we've been in here, here in L.A. shooting newsroom and uh, got a place up in the hills. And, uh, you know, one morning he's out there in the... You know, doing his business, and I look up, and he's about ready to play with a coyote. No, you don't do that. They're mean. No, you know, no, yeah. So that we had to have a little talk. Yeah. Well, you and the coyote, or you and your dog? Me and the dog. Yeah. Don't talk to the coyotes, man. They'll cut you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. They're mean up there. And you know what else you get up in the hills? Deer. Deer. I've yeah. seen deer up there. Yeah. De it's like it's like a wildlife documentary, but with you know douchebag agents popped in. Uh, douchebag agents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. An occasional producer. And yeah, yeah. Lots and lots of actresses. Lots yeah. of actresses, and they go out in the morning and they stretch on their balconies, There's and I'm right there with my telescope, buddy. <laughs> What's going on? Yes. That's yeah. right. Do your yoga. Yeah. No, not really. A little bit. A lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. quite a bit actually. Have you ever lived out here full time? Because you live out in the in the in the in America. I live in uh, the United States of America in Michigan. Yeah. Uh, no, I've never. We rent. 
you know, and you know, when we're not, you know, in the 42 footer, we're, we're, we ran. I don't and is know. that how you get back and forward? You take the 42 uh, all the time and you stop at your favorite places and, and do all that? That's great, man. Yeah. I mean, I, we drive it out in January when we start newsroom and then drive it. I just drove it home a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Drive it I back. I think that's fantastic. Although getting a jet would be cool too. You yeah. about it. You got money now. That news, HBO, yeah, man, that's I, money. You know, then the, you get a private jet. Here's the problem. Yeah. Then you want to fly it. Okay? Yeah. Then, and I've never been able to get past the fact that I'm, when I'm flying, even commercial up there, flying, and I look and I see another plane, if, if Travolta's flying that plane. Yeah. <laughs> He's a decent pilot, John Travolta. Absolutely wonderful guy, terrific yeah. actor. I don't want him up in the sky when I am. I just don't. So, <laughs> and I and I'm me, you know, dumb and dumber. I, we don't need me behind the thing. Oh, no, you'd be fine. And no. anyway, no, no, the FAA would test you properly. They wouldn't no, say, no. "Were you in Dumb and Dumber? Have a plane." No, <laughs> no. I, there's too much. Uh, Are you going to do Dumb and Dumber too? Is that going to happen? Well, uh, <clears throat> as we sit here. <coughs> At this moment. Right, Ju in July the 12th. July 12th. At Good, nice catch. <laughs> yeah. Um, Caesar's birthday, you know. And Richard Simmons. Caesar's birthday? Yeah, yeah, Caesar's birthday. And Richard Simmons. And Richard Simmons. Very different, of Not course. Not necessarily in that order, yeah. <laughs> no, in that order. Yeah, yeah. Now, he's still alive. Caesar? No. Yeah. Richard Simmons? Very oh, much so. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, one was that. Uh, works out so much. There's still a lot of... Hey, now, don't be mean. No, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, he eats well. He does. Yeah. You know, the thing, you work out a lot, you're in good shape, right? I'm okay. Yeah, yeah? yeah. What do you mean you're, you're okay? Well, I mean, you know, I'm okay. I have two <laughs> testicles. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two. There's just not one of them's not with it's me right now. It's the same place. Yeah, yeah. That's, I like them to go out and enjoy themselves. Well. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, uh, what do you do to work out? Do you bend and stretch? Do you do the yoga? I do, I do the kettlebell thing. You know the kettlebells thing? I, I do, actually, yeah. That I do a bit of that. You yeah. the thing and you... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, Thank you. Yeah. I do that, but when I do that, I rip my pants off. Yeah. 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 Well, might want to get some gym shorts. But uh, I do all... I, yeah, that's what I... You know, I do a middle-aged kind of, you know, everyday kind of... It's the diet that gets I, you, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's the yeah. diet. Oh, I, I just had... A, you have a lovely assortment of fruit back there. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. I had a piece of the fruit. I looked at the donuts. Yeah, I don't, I don't go anywhere near that stuff you now. You can't. You can't, because, like, I'm here every day, and there's donuts and chocolate treats, and uh, I come out here, there's candy there. I throw it in at the audience, but I sneak some for myself every sure. night. <laughs> sure. Did you, did you have, like, you're in your 50s now, right? Uh, yeah. Right, okay, so. <laughs> so you've had the, uh, the you know, the, the camera, the prostate. Oh, the so. colonoscopy. Yeah, yeah, did you have that? All kinds of fun, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I kind of liked it. Yeah? Yeah. Did they give you the, um, the juice? The, oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, when they told me, uh, you know, uh, in, the, in the prep leading into the colonoscopy, one of the questions was, do you, do you mind if you're slapped? Slapped? And I said, I have I'd pay extra for it. I, that's yeah. Right. So I said, I haven't been slapped in a long time. I, you know, would actually, you know, yeah. put it down as something to do. So we go in, we do the colonoscopy, we come out, and I'm gone. Yeah. I'm like stoned out of my yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the reason in the event that you start, they bam, oh. they, they nail you. But, I was I was talking about you know I was giving a I was telling my wife who told me later she goes you were saying things like you were trying to get the thing away from the doctor that you you go you've done a lot of these and uh, let me do it I'll take it from here and I <laughs> and I found a little bicycle key up my I way up and I found what? I was able to find I'm gone I'm off and running and yeah it was uh, you know what I liked is where they they, they oh then then then. Oh, well, yeah, no, go on. Go no, on. then, 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 I, they've got those things on you about the, the EKG. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make so sure, they yeah. would pull those off, and that's all it is, right? And it's yeah. not, but with me. Ah! 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 So you've got six other guys waiting to get their colonoscopies. <laughs> It's like when I had the vasectomy. Thank you. Yeah, well, the okay. vasectomy, yeah, 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 yeah. Which I highly recommend. Spay and neuter your pets, everyone. <laughs> I had it. I did it. It was, I mean, I remember singing songs and done. And I remember walking out. I was eight in the morning. I remember walking out 
And there's the guy sitting, he's the 830, and I just walked by him. I said, it's not bad. <laughs> Jeff Daniels, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Jeff Daniels, uh, we're, we're out of time. Okay. Yeah, we, uh, we, we talked for a little too long. Okay. So now all we have time for is a pause. <laughs> Not applause, but thank you anyway. <laughs> like, applause? <laughs> you should have a studio audience for the newsroom. And they have to keep quiet while you're acting. <laughs> These guys would be great at it. <laughs> yeah. She's a very funny comedian. She's actually very, very attractive as well. Oh, yeah. Don't let that put you off. <laughs> She's a regular at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles. Please welcome Sarah Tiana, everybody. Sarah Tiana. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Uh, I'm, I'm from the South. I'm from Calhoun, Georgia. Yeah, you... <laughs> Yeah, you probably heard of it. We have a Nike outlet, so. <laughs> and so <laughs> no one ever knows where Calhoun is, but most people know where Georgia is, right? We're right below the poverty line. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. I come from a good family. Um, my dad's a really tough guy because he fought during the Vietnam War, <laughs> mostly in bars with his friends, but that was a, a phase. He was a good dad, though, the kind of guy that always let me hold his beer. You know? <laughs> Because he was driving, you know. <laughs> Don't spill it. <laughs> I'm four. <laughs> I also have a younger sister. She's a teacher and she's married, so she's the successful one. Because <laughs> she has health insurance. <laughs> I'm not married. Uh, I just turned 35. And at this point in my life, I don't like to be called single. I like to be called sexually active. I feel like that's... <laughs> It's a much more positive way of describing my situation. <laughs> Sarah, are you single? Well, not every night, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I need help. <laughs> but I don't know how people get married anyway. I don't know how anybody chooses one person to be with for the rest of their lives. Not when there are seven billion people on the planet now. <laughs> that is a lot of options, you know. <laughs> And it makes me really picky and greedy and like I'll be on a date with a guy and I'm like, oh, I could probably meet somebody with two eyebrows, you know, like, I don't mean to be greedy here. It never used to be like that back in the day though, you know, back in the day, you know, you had limited options and you're much happier. So of course you're going to be married forever because you dated within a one mile radius <laughs> of where you lived. And you, if you wanted to call a girl, you had to knock on her door. That was calling her. And you only had two options in your whole town. So of course you were going to be happy forever. You're like, well, there's Sheila. And she has a limp, but she makes the best apple cobbler I've ever had. <laughs> or there's my cousin. Ah, oh, decisions. <laughs> I make a lot of decisions, uh, most of them bad. Um, I'm not drinking right now. It's just a little time out. Um, just a little smoke break from a liver because um, I was making a lot of bad decisions in a row. <laughs> yeah, like not like here and that like consecutively and, and it all kind of came to a head when I was down in Miami and this guy was leaving my hotel room in the morning not bragging <laughs> <laughs> and he stayed the night because <laughs> he passed out and um, <laughs> he said two things to me as he was leaving the first thing he said was nice to meet you <laughs> and then he went for the fist bump 
He went to pound me after. <laughs> and I was like, ah, the pleasure's all mine. <laughs> and then he went to leave and then he came back in and he said, did I leave my skateboard in here? And I was like, I need to stop drinking. <laughs> because I realized something as this guy was doing the role of shame out of my suite. <laughs> Sweet two-star hotel room. I realized that I'm an or person. Like, you can pound me or ride a skateboard. But you cannot do both. <laughs> You so I realized something about myself. Like, I can have Jack Daniels or tequila. <laughs> but I cannot have both. <laughs> Except for right now, I need it. I'm Sarah Tiana. <laughs> Thank you. That was lovely. Do you need this? You Do you want it? You no, should. you don't. That was fantastic. I love your shoes. Oh, thank you. They're Very new. Very nice. Are you at the comedy store? Yeah, that's like a tough place. Yeah, huh? you, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> that's, they're, they're, they're evil there. That, people say that, but, uh, but I, I like it kind of grungy and dirty and, you do. and tough. Yeah, that's kind of why I asked you over. <laughs> Is this an intervention? Kind of. <laughs> Everybody's been talking. Everybody loves you. We got right. together and we're worried about you. Right. Jeff and I. Right. Very concerned about you, darling. Yeah. <laughs> he looks mad. like this one of the funny. managers. What is that? <laughs> he looks like one of the managers of the comedy store. He does, actually, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I got, a, I got a 10 p.m. slot for you. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job. It was lovely to meet you. So Thank you, God, everybody. We're right. I'm warming one of my testicles by the fire. <laughs> the other one is in Buffalo. Oh, what is your other testicle doing in Buffalo, pray tell? Enjoying its RV. <laughs> Donker Shane. Donker Shane. I can feel your Just shame. <laughs> Donker Shane, I can feel your shame. Donker Shane, darling. Donker Shane, you will never be the same. I can feel your shame. <laughs>